Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. I came to a local site here in Northwest Montana to unload two Montana cabins, 18 by 24, there on that trailer. I brought this loader from Meadowlark's yard on that trailer, uh, pick up a trailer, and we discovered that the semi truck can't make this corner into this tight uh, gravel road corner right here. So we're almost to the site. The farm where we're building it is right in there. So I'm going to unload all the bundles out here and then I'll put them on the trailer. We'll let the semi truck back out to the highway and then I'll put them on that trailer and haul them in. It won't be too bad. Take me a couple hours. This is Terry, our local truck driver for Libby. And he uh, hauls a lot of our our homes to the local area. Terry's going to go in that truck. He's going to try it again. We decided after looking it over, we might be able to pull that truck farther forward. Stomp on some high ground here. Uh, he's going to pull forward right here and try to get the back end to my left, farther back in off the road. He's got his granddaughter Olivia with him in the truck. So the idea is pulling forward, and believe me, Terry's a skilled truck operator, truck driver. Now he's gonna bring this back end to my right if he can. I need to watch him. I would be delighted if he could get that trailer in there I was starting to unload it and he said he'd like to have one more try at it and we began looking here and realized we could back this trailer back in here well he's good at it he took the straps off so we hope those logs don't fall off so now his trailers are much farther to the right or it just might this might work. Because he's got the three axles back here, it won't sink. Cross my fingers. Maybe I won't be here till dark after all. Oops. He's gonna back up again, try to get that trailer farther over. It's a tough one. Oh, he tore a flap off. He has to tear. Uh, he has to tie those flaps up. When you came back that time, you went over about two feet. You were right here. Now you're over there. Okay. So your back end went two feet to your to your right. Got them both. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't see that. How hard is it to put new ones on? Oh, yeah, that's a real bad. Just a nuisance, isn't it? It's a pain in the butt. We could have prevented it had I thought about it. Tore both mud flaps off. Ah, it's too bad. But he's got a shop at home, he can fix it. Oh. All right, if you did another one more or something, just get that back a couple more feet, I think you'll make it. Yeah, you were. And when he came back, they were about 18 inches, two feet farther to the right. If anybody can do this, Terry can.
we got a cattle guard over the creek here. The back end's got to swing around or it won't make it. Still not enough. It's not gonna work. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna do it. Wow. I gotta get my truck out of the way. He made it. Where's my key? There he comes. Wow, can't believe this. <laughs> I am so tickled right now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is good. Now, I'm not trying to get video of me. I'm trying to get video of that truck. Now here's one more tight spot. Pray you can get in here. If he can't get in here, it's even worse because it can't unload out there very well. So that might be worse than the one out front. I don't know. I thought he could make this one for sure. Doesn't look good. Wow. He's gonna make it. So awesome. Here we enter the property. And needless to say, I am thrilled. Let me get this truck parked out of the way real fast. And the only purpose for bringing this truck and trailer was to haul that little loader over here so I can unload those logs. I didn't intend to shuttle, to shuttle the logs to the building site. So shut this truck off and we'll go out and get that loader. Bring him over here in this. I'm backing up so you can see the truck. I'm gonna swing around. 
here is the the two crawl space foundations for the cabins if we can bring his nose right into those cabins we'll be perfect I'm, I'm motioning for him to follow me with his nose right in here and we'll get the logs sprayed right next to these cabins Terry, you did it! Wow, what do you think, Olivia? Is your grandpa good or what? Wow. Okay. That was a little hair raising, but I've been into the apple orchards over there in Washington in some places, but not quite as tight as that one. Yeah, this is tight, but we got in. I'll go out and get the loader. We'll get this unloaded. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make out a bill of lading. And then I'm going to see if I can fix my flaps while you're right. loading me. Sounds good. Yeah, I am super excited because I would have had to unload all these out there, load them all back on the trailer, bring a small load in with the trailer, walk way out there about a half a mile, get the loader, drive it all the way in here to unload it, take the loader all the way back out, and then just repeat it for about five, six, seven trips to get all those logs in here with that uh, trailer. All right, I gotta walk all the way out there. That's almost a half a mile. We got unloaded. Now I've got to take this Kubota loader out there and get the several bundles I dropped off out there because I thought we we're going to have to unload the whole thing out there. Got to haul them all the way in here. So here we go. I'm driving this loader in to the site. I grabbed one of the bundles I left out there. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked that we got to get this truck in all the way while I'm driving I got a cool idea I'll do a little review of this our 420 s Kubota loader this is a one from 2008 we bought it brand new it's 12 years old it's got about 4,500 hours on it for those of you looking to buy a Kubota a small loader I recommend this one uh, get one while you can because they don't make them anymore uh, they're they're really handy one of the issues for us is the R420 didn't pick up quite enough weight but uh, if you're in the market for a small one you can find these pretty reasonable and uh, they're, they're a great little loader we like the Kubota brand we use this at the metal arc yard for moving logs around to the log peelers and then job sites like this comes in handy for unloading trucks. Uh, it's a little on the light side for heavy bundles, but it works out pretty well. They're a very high quality loader. They have a new model now. 
uh, which I don't like as well. Um, they're quiet, they're easy to run, very dependable like all Kubota equipment. So here I am at the truck, I'm going to unload this load now. Here comes Terry, let's see what he can do here. He says if he gets in, he can get back out. made it. Hallelujah. Give me a couple honks there, Terry. He must be wanting to have a few words with me. You going to let your mud flaps down? Yeah. So you got them fixed? Yes, sir. So you carry a little bit of tool, some tools with you, huh? Oh yeah, I had my, I even had my half inch dry wrench. Oh. So he brought his tools and got these mud flaps all put back together. Look at that, he's got those mud flaps already fixed, so that's great. Whoop. Here we go. Well give the audience a couple honks on the way out. We'll that was you. a that was a great performance. See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. So in the morning, Terry's coming to haul six or seven loads to another location near us that I've been I got a couple videos of that one it's about a I can't remember close to 7,000 square foot lodge we're building that'll be tomorrow but I gotta get uh, him out of here and then go home myself with my loader there we go that's a victory honk that's awesome So I gotta take the porch decking in there with the loader, which is right here. I was going to unload the whole truck here and didn't have to do it. So happy about that. So this is the bundle of a two by eight porch flooring that we use for all of our porches, the decks. I'll carry that in. And I got one small pallet of rebar pins that go between the logs and that's it. I see Terry coming over there. Let's see if we get a honk out of him as he goes by. There he comes, heading back to Libby. Come on, Terry, do you see me? That was a nice one. Heading back home. Awesome. Tomorrow's another day. All right, let's get the last of these bundles take it in load up my loader I'm going to take this one home again tonight because we don't need it at the site for the small cabins got my little loader out in the trailer ready to go home let's take a look around and see the piles of logs that we unloaded here is cabin number one all the logs for it for the foundation nearest to us and over there is cabin number two for the fire foundation let's have a closer look at the foundations so we put the two Montana cabins on one semi and they were marked separately, one and two. So I could tell that cabin needs to be separately, carefully separated 
from this cabin so they don't interchange they've got to be the same all the pieces to the one cabin and all the pieces to cabin number two so here's a crawl space for the 18 by 24 we use an eight inch poured wall poured concrete wall we don't use block for a log house they're not strong enough because the house is too heavy here are the porch piers they go down about four feet in the ground on their own foundation we put a pressure treated six by six post into that u bracket shaped like a u and then the pressure treated framing and the porch decking on top of that for the porch then uh, 11 and 7 bci i joist floor and then osb the outside exterior subfloor grade uh, osb for the floor and then the logs get placed on the on the floor with the crane Got a couple pails kind of tip over it that's the rebar cabin number two i called this one so there you have it there's a package of railing for the porch railing and post for this cabin and over there i put the railings for that cabin so there we are they're unloaded ready to bring the lumber in the joist plywood everything we need for the floors and the roof systems and i think they're starting tomorrow I don't know when I can get back to do video, but Chris and the boys will be putting these together. We'll get some more videos later on. Now I'm going to go ahead and go home. It's supper time. <laughs>